Hi guys, welcome back to a new Railroads Online video. It's been uh, quite some time since we've done a RO video. Uh, it's been a while since we got some real content update, but we've had a couple updates in the last few months, but they've mostly been bug fixes, which of course I'm not complaining about. I, I love bug fixes. I love it when developers take the time to actually fix bugs and pay attention to them. It makes gameplay so much better but uh, bug fixes don't necessarily warrant a video uh, frankly you can sit and read the uh, read the change logs for yourselves it's not gonna be noticeable enough for me to jump into a video but this time around we actually did get a pretty cool content update so we're gonna be taking a peek at it today um, Naturally, there is a lot of bug fixes in this update, as is pretty typical of RO updates. Uh, lots of bug fixes, lots of changes, but uh, we're here for the content. So we're going to take a look at the content, and today, as far as content goes, we got a new wood rick for refilling, for uh, wood loading. It is a, uh, it's a, a wood fueling platform that will slowly refill over time it's not a requirement to drop logs off to uh, refill it so that's that's kind of nice uh, it's a nice a thing to be able to stick around like locomotive facilities or something where you may or may not be spending much time going back and forth to to uh, reload refill so that's a nice thing we'll take a look at that in a minute but the really big one is the props. So we got props, um, all sorts of props too. Signs, buildings, decorations, platforms. So we're gonna clear out some of these trees here too and uh, take a good look at some of this stuff because it's definitely worth our time. It's, it's really cool. Um, this will actually be kind of a first look video too because I haven't gone through and looked at everything yet. I've looked at a couple of the signs, I've looked at a couple of the buildings, but I haven't looked at everything so some of this stuff uh, I'll be seeing at the same time that you guys are seeing if you guys haven't uh, already seen some of this stuff. But I'm going to get some of these trees out of the way so that I got a clear spot to uh, a clear spot to tinker around with. I guess a little bit of a clear spot right here. So, props. Actually, before I jump into the props, because we only got one new facility, so we'll do the facility first, but we got a little wood rig. So, nothing huge. It's a, it's fairly small. It's something you would typically see along, like, uh, flag stops and train stations and such, where there's not a real big uh, locomotive servicing facility or anything. This is just something relatively small, which will go along really really nicely with the buildings I imagine a lot of people are gonna make some really cool looking towns and whatnot and this is something that is a, a, a mainstay in the wood burning era so and it goes along really really nicely with the uh, the plantation stuff that we got it's a uh, it being so small it kinda goes along with that whole theme of tiny railroading but we got that we got the ability to rotate all this stuff, so like right now we're going to look at this. I believe this is, I, I clicked on that on accident, but that's a bank. So we got a bank, and you can rotate it with the number four keys and the number six keys. And you can lean them with the number two and the number, th the, uh, the number eight keys. It's a really handy thing to... Uh, be able to do wherever you're trying to put some of these buildings in kind of wacky places or uh, it's more so for like the signs and the decorations but we got signs like this a rail uh, the one that everybody wants to see the crossing bucks now they do give us a warning uh, pretty 
early on with all the uh, the changelog props that uh, do not place any of these on a locomotive or on any of the rolling stock or the track because it will cause issues with the game and it may or may not send you into the railroads online and space program so for the time being do not place anything on rails like physically on the tracks uh, or on locomotives or on rolling stock because it will screw something up I myself have not done that yet I have managed to avoid it but so we got a bank uh, we got a doctor gunsmith houses law office outbuilding saloon sheriff stable and undertaker oh that's a cool one. stables oh that's cool that's really cool so you can kind of uh, build up around your industries and whatnot because nine times out of ten a lot of these industries wouldn't just be out here by themselves uh, they would actually have facilities for the people that are going to be working them because unlike today most people's lived around where they worked back in this time period uh, if you were a logger chances are you lived in a logging camp for months on end or as a miner you probably lived in a town pretty close to the mine or right on top of the mine so uh, this will give us the ability to kind of build up around our our uh, facilities and our different industries and such but all kinds of whoops all kinds of little little town buildings and whatnot uh, we'll take a look at like the undertaker here uh, let's see now these houses do not have interiors uh, these buildings and whatnot they don't have interiors you can't go in and out of them which doesn't doesn't make me sad uh hopefully maybe later on we get a we get an update where uh maybe some of these buildings have interiors uh, maybe a house or two they'll have an interior you'll be able to go in and out of kind of like you can with the uh, the telegraph office but for now they don't have any interiors uh nothing fancy but hey this is what i do Sure wish I had a building like this for my uh, gunsmithing, but such is life. Some of us are poor. Decorations. A barrel. An open barrel. A bench. Oh, Lord. Oh, great gift me. I will say, hopefully we'll be able to uh, kind of clear out some of the grassy spots like this. Or clear out the grass around so that we can actually make uh, like dirt roads and whatnot. Uh, I think most people, from what I've been seeing, they've been using uh, they've been using just the, uh, the embankments as roads and whatnot. Which, I, it works, but I think it'll be nice later on if we can clear out the grass, maybe put a dirt texture or something like make roads or such just for giggles and squiggles but oh there's a wheel a wagon wheel water oh goodness wow the rest of these scroll no We'll see these signs are uh, pretty, pretty darn big. Outbuilding. Ah, uh, shovel. doesn't quite rotate the way I was thinking it would but oh well but that's kind of my thing hopefully we'll be able to kind of clear out some of this grass and whatnot so that we can actually uh, see some of the stuff on the ground but carts chairs chimneys there's a car oh 
kind of small. I wonder if we can place these on top of I think you can place like props on top of props, but you can't place props on top of trains and such. Parking. <laughs> You're a, a hitch post for your horses. That's what they mean by uh, parking. Platform. Oh, that's cool. So you'll be able to make platforms as long as you'd like. That'll be cool. So hopefully uh, in the near future, we'll be seeing some coaches. Uh, whether or not we'll have a, an actual passenger industry per se is anybody's guess. But that'll be kind of cool. Oh, we got telegraph poles. I don't... Here, we'll walk over here and see. I don't know if it'll uh, if it'll do anything with a telegraph, as far as like adding. Oh. Adding anything. Let's see, where was that? Uh, telegraph, telegraph pole, right there. Adding like some wires here. Oh, I will. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Physics. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Oh, goodness. There's some wackery going on right here, but that's pretty darn cool. Actually adds the wiring. I know it's a dumb thing to be excited about, but that's really, really cool. It's a nice detail to notice. That actually makes me really happy. So that'll be a fun thing to play with. We'll be able to set up all these uh, telegraph offices and actually connect them. So that's cool. That's really, really cool. Right, let's see, what else can we play with? Wickers. So this will be like the, uh, the little baskets with uh, different things in them. Hay bales. Square rails. Yeah, don't do this. Don't put, don't click on the car. You will have uh, you'll have issues, according to the railroads online team. I am not a developer, therefore I listen to the railroad online team. Water tower. Oh. Different. It's like an old railroad water tower. It's been turned into something else. Maybe. That's cool. planks. I imagine these will be good for uh, railroad crossings later on but because they said not to place anything on the rails I'm not gonna. Oops. I already saw the barrel. Food boxes, chairs, chimneys. Closed cart. What's a closed cart? Oh! A wagon! Oh, that's pretty freaking cool, dude. Pretty freaking cool. Stump. That'll go good around the logging camp. There's another woodrick and on uh, a non-loaded version. But this is pretty darn cool. I like it. You could spend a lot of time going through with all this, setting it up for different things, different themes, making little towns whatnot. Matter of fact, I've already seen some people in the uh, in the Facebook page making whole towns and whatnot, so this is really cool. It's a nice update. It's got a lot of, it, it gives us a lot of stuff to play with, really and truly. Like, it doesn't seem like a lot whenever you read the change log, but as you can see, this list is I mean, this is a pretty lot of, long list of stuff. We'd be here a hot minute if I took the time to go through each and every single one of these. But we got a lot of stuff. whole lot of stuff. So lots of stuff to tinker with. Lots of stuff to play around with. So 
hopefully in the near future maybe we'll see some people I don't know that'd be kind of a nice thing some people to kind of populate the towns animate it even more I know I might be asking for much but it's an idea but yeah so nothing too terribly long today but just a really really neat update I thought that gives us some neat stuff to play with uh, no reason to go play around with trains or anything this is mostly a buildings update uh, to my knowledge there are no uh, there was no rolling stock or anything in the change logs that was listed so yeah anyways any who's hope you guys enjoyed the video um, for those of you that are playing railroads online, go build some towns. I want to see uh, I want to see what some of the crazy stuff that people come up with. Cause some people have already been doing some really neat stuff just using the base buildings that have already been in the game for a, a while. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go play around with this some more. I will see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>